Hello everybody out in YouTube land. Uh, this video is a video about the ozone. The ozone above us. You can't tell me there is no problem. There is a problem. The ozone is affecting the world as we speak. So, I'm going to show you, a, I only have 10 minutes on here, so I'm going to show you possible what's around me. It's already December. 30, 31st, coming up pretty soon, December 31st, 2011. Okay, not 2011. Okay, the problem is right here. I live in Berglund, Ontario. That's in Canada, on the bottom near Minnesota, between Rainy River and Fort Francis. Okay, this is concerns me a lot. I've been here for about 15, 16 years now. We had lots of snow, lots of snow. For the past couple years now, the snow wasn't getting too much. We usually have people driving their snowmobiles at this time, but not now. Look at this. Now you tell me, that's a fresh cut, everything out in that field has been cut. You can pretty well get a good idea right from there. That's what the field will look like, how long th that grass and weeds are. Look out there, there's hardly any snow out there, hardly any. So look down here, you see the snow? That's only up when the wind blows. Look at that. Hardly any. Two inches. Not even two inches. So, I don't know about you, but there is no snow out here. None at all. I'm going to show you my yard put my laptop I'm on the laptop by the way make sure it don't fall okay hope you see it right there right there you tell me is that a problem okay in there. There's hardly any crap of any kind of snow. There is snow, but the problem is the ozone. Why well, the government says they're doing something about it. I haven't seen anything being done about it. They talk, they talk, but they don't do nothing. Fort Francis, they have a wood factory out there. I see, tr there was lots of trees out here before, lots. Right now there's hardly any trees around here, like big enough trees to form a forest. There's more loggers out here cutting and taking. Ain't the trees are oxygen, oxygen to breathe? That's another problem. There's nothing. Everything is going to waste. So I'm going to walk over here. There's nothing. Look at it. You tell me there's not a problem, government, your prime minister, your president of the United States, all the government officials. You tell me there's no problem. Look at there. In the back of the house here. There's hardly any snow. Look at that. And it's already going on January. There should be car snowmobile as you hear, but there's none. I guarantee you around 2040, the year 2040, there is going to be a problem. And there's nothing anybody can do about it because it'll be too late. Nothing 
We'll stop it. This is this is crazy. Where do you think you're getting all these earthquakes coming around everywhere? Earthquakes, typhoons, suddenly volcanoes are awakened, water rushing in, people getting killed. Why? Because the ozone, the earth is telling us, smart the fuck up or else you ain't going to have a place to live in. And where the hell are we going to live? Hey, eh? What's this with the NASA sending up the shuttle every few months, every two, three months? You don't think that's killing the ozone? Why the hell just send up the satellites? You don't need to be up there. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So please, if anybody's interested in helping, go to your government official and let him know. It's about time we should start doing something about this. Paul, I'm recording. What do you think about the the winter? The ozone? Winter. You notice there's hardly any snow already? So please. Government, don't talk the crap. Do something about it. Because you're not gonna have anybody else to vote for you. This is about time we should start fighting back because we all live on this planet and we're killing it. So that's about it, what I have to say. So just look around, check out, remember how it was around where you live. You tell me if there's nothing changed about the weather. But anyways, that's what I have to say. And I hope you understand. All right. Ciao.